Hello, welcome to this video. Today, we are going to talk about this animal that you can see right here. But, do you know in which group frogs are? Hmm, I'm going to give you five seconds to think about it. Yes, you are right. The frogs are in the group of amphibians. So, we are going to start to talk about the amphibians often start their lives having gills. Gills, if you remember, are these little lines that also fishes have so they can breathe. When they develop and they change, they start breathing with lungs like we do. Some amphibians are able to breathe with lungs or gills and also with their skin. They use it as a respiratory organ. Amphibians have got very long and sticky tongues. Do you know for what? Yes, to catch insects to eat. Of course, if they are eating insects, what kind of nutrition do they have? Are they herbivorous, carnivorous, omnivorous? Yes, they are carnivorous because they eat other living beings. Also amphibians lay eggs, so they are oviparous, remember. Well, we are also going to write the other characteristic that we said about amphibians, that they are carnivores. Well, amphibians need to live in humid areas, so their skin and their eggs, they don't dry out. They have to live near the water and they can live also in land. But remember that they always need the water so their skin and their legs, eggs, sorry, can develop. So we're going to do this one that lives in the land and this one that they live in the water. Well, I have a question for you that I need you to that I want you to answer for me. How do they get from this to this? How is the this process called? What's the name of this process? I need you to investigate and answer to me and try to describe it with only your own words. Well, we are going to continue with amphibians. For that, I have to erase everything and start. So amphibians, there are two types of amphibians. Mm, I don't know if you know any of them, but the first group of amphibians is called anuras. And the other group, it's called urodialas. The first group is composed by toads and frogs. This group is composed for these animals that can jump and swim very large distances because they use their back legs that as you can see they are longer way longer than the front legs that's why they can jump and swim for very long distance so this is the group of aneuras the second group urodelas it's composed by salamanders for example and they this group the main characteristics is that they have a really long tail and their forelegs are exactly the same. They are not bigger or longer than one of the other. They are the same. And well, with this, we have finished the group of amphibians. I hope you have enjoyed and you have learned new things. Bye bye.